The two air conditioning packs are located as shown, normally both packs operate to provide temperature control ventilation and pressurization. In the event only one pack is operative, the cabin altitude can still be maintained at or below 8,000 feet when the aircraft is at the maximum certified ceiling. Cabin air is circulated around the outside of the cargo compartment liners to keep them at acceptable temperatures. The warm exhaust air from the electronic compartments is directed around the forward cargo compartment for additional in-flight heating of the forward cargo compartment. You notice there is no ventilation airflow into or out of the cargo compartments. The packed temperature control panel is located on the right side of the overhead panel, and the pack controls are located on the pneumatic control panel. We will describe the operation of these controls later. This is the bleed panel and you can see the two packs switched are on this panel, the left and right pack switches may be selected to off, auto, or high. Normally both packs are operated in the auto mode during flight. There are a two position switches, and a three position switches. You can see that each pack is operated by compressed air, which can be delivered from an engine, the APU, or an external air cart. Bleed air is delivered through the left or right pneumatic manifolds to the respective pack. As shown here, each pack normally receives air from its respective engine and the left and right pneumatic manifolds are isolated by the closed isolation valve. You can see that each pack is operated by compressed air which can be delivered from an engine the APU or an external air cart leaders delivered through the left or right pneumatic manifolds to the respective pack, as shown here, each pack normally receives are from its respective engine and the left and right pneumatic manifolds are isolated by the closed isolation valve. With engine bleeds on for takeoff, approach, or landing, the high mode must not be selected. This is because single engine performance has not been calculated with an engine bleed supplying a pack in high. Single engine performance assumes the packs are in auto, or off. Here we show the APU supplying air to both packs, when the pneumatic isolation valve is open. Both packs may be supplied bleed air from the APU. The isolation valve may be selected to close, auto, or open. You can operate the electrical system and one pack at altitudes up to 10,000 feet, with no electrical load the APU can operate one pack up to 17,000 feet. Both packs can receive bleed air from an external air cart. External pneumatic air enters the pneumatic manifold on the right side of the isolation valve, and therefore provides pneumatic air directly to the right side of the system. The isolation valve must be open for the external air cart to provide air to the left side of the pneumatic system. When parked low pressure conditioned air can be provided at the gate. Conditioned air is delivered directly to the mix manifold which distributes it to the cabin and cockpit. The conditioned air is attached to the aircraft in the area shown above, 
The packs are normally not operated in this situation, and the air temperature is determined by the conditioned air source. Mix manifold is used to supply condition R to the cabin, condition air to this manifold, can be supplied by the packs, or from a conditioned air source when the aircraft is parked. The left pack delivers conditioned air to the flight deck, excess air that is not provided to the cockpit, is provided to the mix manifold, and then to the cabin. The left pack delivers conditioned air to the flight deck, excess air that is not provided to the cockpit is provided to the mix manifold, and then to the cabin. The right pack delivers conditioned air to the mix manifold, Therefore the right pack delivers conditioned air to the mix manifold, then onto the cabin, and indirectly to the flight deck if the left pack is not operating. The 800 aircraft have two recirculation fans, that are used to enhance airflow through the mix manifold, air from the forward cabin and from the electrical equipment bay is drawn through a shroud located over the forward cargo compartment, then flows through filters to the recirculation fans, the recirculation fans then supply the recirculated air to the mix manifold. The air from the mix manifold is delivered to the overhead distribution duct through the left and right side wall risers, the overhead distribution duct routes conditioned air to the cabin. The duct extends from the forward to the aft end of the ceiling along the center line, and also supplies the side walls diffusers. A trim air is used to provide a specific temperature control for the cabin zones. The trim air system uses hot bleed air to warm specific zones. There is a trim air pressure regulator, and shut-off valve that controls the operation of trim air, there are trim air modulating valves, that modulate the warm air delivery to each zone. With trim are operating the packs provide temperature to satisfy the selection of the coldest zone, and trim air is added through the trim are modulating valves, to increase the temperature to the zones that are selected at a warmer temperature. This picture shows the airflow to the cockpit. Conditioned air is continuously delivered through diffusers under each pilot's seat. There is no shutoff for this airflow. Condition R is also delivered through overhead diffusers in the cockpit, located above and aft of the number 3 windows. These outlets can be opened and closed by the pilot. Airflow to defog the number one windows is controlled by a knob on each pilot's panel similar knobs control airflow to the foot area. Recall that the air flows around the cargo compartments, and not into or through the compartments, normally the cabin air exhaust through the main output valve. The main output valve is located on the lower aft portion of the fuselage. It is open on the ground. It controls the pressurization of the aircraft and modulates as necessary during flight.
Electrical equipment cooling is normally provided by fans, and the overboard exhaust valve is often closed. The overboard exhaust valve is installed on the lower side of the fuselage. It can open to provide an alternate means to ventilate the electrical equipment. With high cabin differential pressure, the overboard exhaust valve is closed, and the air from the equipment cooling fan system is routed around the forward cargo compartment, to keep it warm. If the recirculation fan shuts down the overboard exhaust valve automatically opens to provide the alternate means of ventilation for the equipment. This completes the introduction to the air conditioning system.